<laughs> this video is a little bit of an accident that you're about to see and it doesn't involve a toaster. Like what I did there? Yes. Thank you. There's this thing going on in the world right now called COVID-19. You've probably heard of it and it is the sole reason mainly why you have not seen this already and it was kind of left in the vault uh, to, to wait until hopefully things get better. So as you know, I did a successful kitchen gadget crowdfund recently and I was just sending out, literally yesterday, I was here sending out and wrapping the last ones to go off around the world, which has been an amazing experience and I was intending to launch my next kitchen gadget crowdfund very soon. Well right? done. Thanks, mate. Whilst I was doing that, Chloe's like, Daddy, I need to use the computer. And I showed her whilst I was there on the other tab, the kitchen gadget to make sure I had the right addresses to send them out. Uh, but also had, uh, I've talked about this for a long time, a pizzeria, uh, wood-fired pizzeria in my hometown, an online cooking school one drafted that I'm so proud of, uh, but I, I put it on hold because of COVID-19. So I'm carrying on wrapping, you're doing on the computer and life is good. And then I look at my phone about probably three hours later, and I see that I've got some tweets, I just looked at my Twitter, of people that had actually like backed the campaign. And I'm like, did you press a button that you shouldn't have? Maybe. So yeah, the video you're about to see was filmed over a year ago um, and I, Wanted to cancel it, I took a step back and took a, an hour or two and I could see that people were backing it and I hadn't even told anyone really about it and it's like, this is awesome. And you guys are probably like, what, is this serious and genuine? And I thought, well, the good thing with Kickstarter crowdfunding campaigns in general is if they don't fund, it won't happen anyway and maybe I'll never ever know, right? And the thing with COVID is if we do do it, I can launch fairly slowly and take my time with it and maybe, Chloe, it might have been fate, right? Yeah. Or an accident, what do you think? I think it was an accident. Yes, I'm not mad, mate. I know. If I was like nine, it would be completely different and this wouldn't have happened. No. Be... Have a bit more IT knowledge, would you? Yeah. But the thing I didn't get, I didn't get a confirmation email from them to say, wow, your uh, product's been launched. And the people that have backed me so far, thank you so much. It's not even an email about that. That's so weird how you can literally just done that. Thank you for supporting him. No, well, yeah, the people that have backed me already, but I can now confirm officially we're going to just go for it. Okay, we're going to launch it because I don't want to launch it and then like unlaunch it and launch it again. It's out there now. So if you would like to back the campaign, it is a wood-fired pizzeria in my hometown that hopefully you can come and visit someday. I wanted to plan and reshoot the video because it's old. It's an old video on there. It's like different house and stuff. It's like, it doesn't matter, but there's an online cooking school element to it as well. So anyone around the world can get involved. Very exciting indeed. I'm massively passionate about it. It just wasn't meant to be this way. <laughs> but like, it's a, it's a typical Barry crowdfund, isn't it? It's, it's just, yeah. So please check the video out. Anything you want to add? Bye. Bye. <laughs> check it out. And if you can support it, it would be massively appreciated. Cheers guys. Bye. Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today is not a normal video, it's an interesting day. Let me show you something. All right, see that building over there? I'm gonna try and turn that into my own wood-fired pizzeria and cooking school. I know what you're thinking. You're going, what? Barry, you've gone mad, don't worry, just hear me out. If you didn't know, I live in Western Supermare, which is a seaside town uh, near Bristol. In fact, I'm by the sea right now. This is amazing. Uh, although sometimes people refer to it as Western Super Mud because we don't really get much sea. In fact, if I leave my car here too long, I will get stuck in the mud. A lot of tourists come down here. It's very popular in the summer. People wander out to the sea and get stuck in the mud. But regardless of that, I want to create and bring to my hometown something back where it all started, an artisan pizzeria that doubles up as an online cooking school. It sounds completely bonkers, but I want to do it. You see here in my hometown, we are filled with loads of commercial pizza delivery places. <laughs> Get the door a minute. Hey sir, did you order the multinational corporate pizza? I want to bring authentic wood-fired artisan pizza, decent pizza, homemade dough from scratch, the most funky, cozy layout. This is a passion project of mine that I've had simmering away for over 18 months. I haven't rushed and looked at other buildings and been like, oh, this will do. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. 
Would you come all the way from Norwich for this? Frequently, at least <laughs> twice a day. The building is perfect. It's gonna be awesome. I massively believe in it. Of course, there is some risk element to it, but I have a dream and a goal that I wanna hit. So today, to finally make this reality, literally just gone live a couple of moments ago, is my Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign called The People's Pizzeria and Cooking School. Why is it called The People's Pizzeria? Well, this is my favorite part. Basically, by supporting the Kickstarter campaign, you can submit your ideas and then you will vote to determine things like the pizzeria's name, the logo, the uniforms we wear, the things on the wall. Maybe you want to say, I'll go for some Banksy art or put like bananas on, I don't know. It's completely in your hands and I love that. Also, there'll be a percentage of the profits uh, donated to a charity of choice every year and you guys can pick that too. I always knew I was gonna do this crowdfunding campaign, so I came up with some most amazing perks and rewards I can, no matter where you are in the world. From signed cookbooks and unique merchandise, in-house and online courses, your name on a wall tile, with, like actually in the pizzeria, you can have a pizza named after you. There is absolutely loads. I'm so proud of them. Some of my favorite YouTubers have vetted it and said yes. This is cool, I like this a lot. Check out the Kickstarter page and have a little browse. I'm sure you have some questions in your mind. I've picked out the top ones that I could think of, which I will answer now. Hang on a sec, are you still gonna be doing videos? I will 100% be doing videos. I will not be running the pizzeria on a day-to-day -day basis. There'll be other people doing that. In fact, the pizzeria opens the opportunity for me to make so much more content. I can film in there, do special episodes in there, get guests in there, do podcasts in there. I'm gonna be running courses in person there with myself and some experts, plus creating a whole batch of digital online courses too. Uh, Amy just literally coughed. You just threw up. Why are you crowdfunding? This is one that I hope is kind of like an obvious answer. The thing I like about crowdfunding is it's like a collaborative community thing that can help people achieve their dreams. I get super inspired by uh, some of my friends like Stuart Ashen, who's crowdfunded two movies, Dan No Cubed, who's crowdfunded a book, and Paul Rose, who did Digitize of the web series. Those guys, to me, I mean, they're close friends of mine anyway, but I just look at that and it inspires me. It really makes me feel like I want to give this a go. I'm scared, I'm scared, but I want to give it a go. But more importantly than that, I think that maybe with this project as well, the community aspect is even more. Not just the whole thing about, yeah, we're gonna call it Pizza McPizza Face, don't worry, I won't let that happen. But my point is that you guys can have such a say in it. And that whole phrase of like, is that even a phrase? A billion minds are better than one? Well, they are, they are. And you can come up with something way better than me and help me make this thing so good. It's gonna be awesome. The dream is close and I'm excited to give this a go. If you don't raise your target, will it happen? The thing I like about Kickstarter is they're like, if you hit your goal or above it, yes, you've, you've achieved your goal, you can do that. And I have done the maths, I've done the calculations, the minimum amount I need is there. I don't wanna put anything at risk. My family, I'm not gonna risk any of the YouTube channel, or anything like that. This is purely what I need to make the cooking school and pizzeria a reality. Got it? I live overseas, what's in it for me? This is something I've touched on earlier. I've concentrated to really make the perks as international friendly as possible. A lot of them will be emailed and sent to you, but what's not to say that you might be taking a trip to England someday and you know, you're gonna go to London and maybe uh, uh, Stonehenge, which is quite close to where I live. Uh, but you're like, hey, oh my gosh, I backed Barry in that crowdfund. My name is on the wall. I've got this voucher for a free pizza, which is never gonna run out. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and see Western Super Mud. Crust me, I crust you to crust me. This is an off the record pizza pun that I wasn't meant to do and we can make something awesome. Serious space. Okay, I get the pizzeria bit. Well, what about the cooking school part? This is at the cooking school, which I'm equally as excited about and something I've wanted to do for so long too. So both in-house in the pizzeria, there's actually perks for that where you can actually buy tickets to do that already. Classes where you can come, I'll host some of them, I'll co-host some, and some will be done by in-house and also external experts. We will also produce and create our own online downloadable content with e-recipe cards and books. I've got two already in the bag. I've got an Indian cookery school masterclass with my friend Binny, who is phenomenal best curries I've ever tasted and a master chef UK winner to actually host something I'll be in the videos too don't worry it won't just be them going hello I'll be there going oh my gosh it's like it's like food it actually sounds really cool I want to go there myself like I said this really is the tip of the iceberg now I completely get it if you can't help me I've already teased this online and some people have already been messaging me going oh, I've got tables I've got glasses and things I can send you like and I'm like whoa 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 we need to see if we can make this a thing 
If you could do me a favor and share this with as many friends and family as you can, and maybe open it up to people that don't really know about me, that would be really awesome. And maybe they'll understand my story and want to be part of it as much of it. And perhaps just like you and me, they can see that this isn't just a restaurant or some crazy idea. This is a project and something, okay, get emotional, something special and inspiring and words. Look, I know this is bonkers and completely out of the blue, but it is a dream of mine. I'm going to give it my absolute all. And if it fails, you know what? We're just going to say we did our absolute best. If you can pledge any amount, it would be amazing. I've come up with some amazing rewards that are going to keep me super busy, but you deserve it as much as I do. I'm going to put so much effort into those. Share like mad. The campaign is live for 30 days. In the words of Wayne's World 2, if you build it, they will come. I think that is from Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner, but I don't like that film as much. I'm so excited, guys. Go to the Kickstarter campaign now. Take a look. Thank you so much for this. Oh my God, I'm getting emotional. Ah, I just want to do this so badly. Ooh. See you soon.